Based on an Athol Fugard novel from the 1950s, Satsi stars Presley Shenoue Agayi as a hoodlum who shoots a woman and hijacks her car. As he drives away, he discovers a baby in the rear seat. Satsi, the name means thug, forces a local woman to wet nurse for him as he tries to carry out his life as a criminal. Ultimately, the baby's innocence helps this gunman to discover his own inner child. South Africa's version of Crash, this Oscar winner for best foreign film urges us to find forgiveness and understanding while getting a charge out of the highs of a thief's life. That was my favorite scene in, the, uh, in a movie that I thought was uh, terrifically uneven. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we are really, when you look at Johannesburg, you are getting kind of a vision of what the future, uh, the future of, of the cities of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, see, when you see Johannesburg, when you see Rio de Janeiro, you know what the, what the cities around us are going to look like in about 50 years or so. And you're talking about um, just uh, beautiful, beautiful crime. sleek high rises, yes, and, and, and terrible, yeah, you know, terrible no go areas around them, favelas, right, with just uh, unbelievable poverty. Yeah, it certainly seems that's the way things are going. But uh, as as a drama, though, I think this is uh, this is forced. Uh, I thought the acting's very uneven. It was. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised to see how moved some people are by it. But I guess it's it's got to do with the baby itself. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What would you think? This is um, um, Arthur Fugard's only novel. His only novel, and, yes. Um, um, I, th you know, it's it is updated, and it's a very old novel, and it, right. it's very political because of what was going on during apartheid. Right. And for some reason, it just doesn't translate. It's like we've seen this kind of film out of South America as well as out of Europe, mm -hmm. um, as well as out of Asia, and it it just doesn't do anything new. So you're not really moved by it. There's nothing wrong with the filmmaking. The acting is uneven. Yeah. Um, uh, but a lot of it professional. I, yeah. I, I, I came out of there and I just said, okay, what happens to this guy now, though? Yeah. You know, we leave him at the end of the film, and the question is, what happens to him now? But it's one of those films that, I don't know, it's about retribution. Not retribution, but redemption. Yeah, and, and you know? actually the process occurs very quickly as if a switch is thrown. It's yeah. almost as soon as he sees the baby. It kind of reminded me in, of Raising Arizona in a way. That's mm -hmm. the sort of stuff that Raising Arizona was parodying. Parody, where as soon, exactly. as soon as the two, the two big burly convicts saw the baby, they went to, they turned, immediately yeah. turned to mush. My big question is, this was the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film, and it yeah. seems to me that Paradise Now was so much more yeah, powerful I know. and such a better film. It's, it's a strange you know, choice, but yeah. their, their tastes, well, you know. And I'm, I'm certainly going to recommend people see this, but, you know, if you're not that moved by it, and only, only moved on an emotional level, mm -hmm. then you know that it's, um, it's sort of um, uh, failed. I do want to say something about Gavin Hood, the director. He came, well, is a South African, came over to UCLA after he got a law degree, mm. and um, went to the film school there, and did the great Polish kids film um, uh, called um, uh, Deserts and Wilderness. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah it's really locally distributed, I believe. Yeah. Out of Aptos. Yeah. yeah.